ho, 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 and Merry Christmas. It's been a little while. It actually feels like ages since I played Minecraft last, I have to say. But here we are. Um, I'll be honest, I have done basically nothing since uh, the last stream I did of this because I've just been doing other streams and work and all this other stuff that's going been going on as well in my life. Like, art's been taking up a lot of my time, um, I have to say. And setting up for the next pack, i got to also admit to that. So, today my goal is to go through and figure out some things that I haven't done the automation for yet and have been intending to do for a long time. Um, I'm not going to make any pretty structures this time. It is just practical stuff and we're going to put it wherever we can find space. I'm no longer going to follow any of the rhythm that I've been trying to follow just because at this point in time, I feel like I'm just going to be hindering myself by trying to do so. Um, we still have, uh, our good, good boy here, uh, Drago which he's missing some health but that's okay um i've not fixed the platform again like i've done literally nothing since the last time i uh played and i, I do feel kind of bad for that i will say that all right so today is all about automation like i said um Now keep in mind, yeah, we've got access to all of our EMC stuff as well, so automation is a lot more doable. Um, I was considering trying to do an automation for killing the uh, Ender Dragon, however, I didn't find any that really worked, uh, any ideas that worked well within the mods that we've got in this pack, and that would get me the uh, Dragon Hits, because that's the main thing we want from it everything else we can pretty much emc or don't need additional copies of um so the first thing i want to automate is getting something that i intended to get possibly 14 something episodes ago which is filling these tanks with um blazing blood So, Blazing Blood is basically Tinker's endgame uh, cooking thing, and it means that you can cook all the top tier materials. So, with that being the case, how do you obtain it? Well, it might be a little uh, clear based on the name, if you kind of think on it, because uh, something called Blazing Blood might uh, have some relation to blazers uh no i don't want to break the exact outers because that's actually seeable so i i said in the past that i didn't want to really do stuff like underground like i normally do but i'm be honest we're at a stage where that stuff doesn't matter anymore. In fact, let's make this easier on ourselves, shall we? So this puts us all the way down here at bedrock. So what we're going to also want to do, I'm going to... Oh hey, it's the cave that we have underneath our house. So this puts it at a 5x5, five five. this puts it as that. So let's push out by one this way 
Yep, that makes it uh, a lot cleaner. Cool, so then we can one, two, three. Whoops. Good lord, we're really clearing out some area for this. Um, we're going to make it so it's got very flat walls, by the way, just to make things a little easier and safer. So when I fuck something up, uh, it doesn't spill out and cause more longer reaching issues that I might have to resolve. Okay, give me a second, I just realized I don't have the chat up. There we are. Just double check no one said anything. No. Okay. Um, Alright. So blazing blood is obtained via blazers. Again, who would have guessed? So what we're going to do... We're gonna how about about here. We make a platform. Get some interdiction torches uh, going. And I think, actually, before I continue, there's one thing I should make that I don't know why I've left it alone for as long as I have. So I'm just going to dump everything that's not cobblestone in here and dump the rest of you so this is going to be one of those uh slightly longer crafts to make because in the past we made this fella here which is the infinite storage disc which is insane it's it's really useful it's really really good however it only works with items now, you probably know exactly where I'm going now with this, uh, that I've said that. Because it only works on items, we need to figure out where it is. Extra discs. Yeah, infinite fluid disc. This is what we're going to make. So. I can already see we're going to need glass. Just grab two stacks of that. Some. Uh, quartz enriched iron. We'll just grab a few stacks of that. Just because again, like. This is going to be a uh, one of them longer efforts. So 
So we're gonna need a some buckets. Some silicon. And some processes of different calibers. We'll just grab some like that. Okay, so keep in mind all of these are EMCable, so there's a lot of kind of fast ways to track this out. So we do that and uh, we just grab an additional two more. Then we make the next one, grab two more of those. So how far off am I? Because I just made those ones, right? Yeah, so I need to make these. Then we make this. And then we can make this, which that's going to require redstone now going forward. Okay, that's... I should also mention, like, at this point in time, the fluid amount that we're already able to store with just, like this one here we probably wouldn't need to worry because we're going to be producing not as much liquid as we are producing items and we already don't need like too high so now we need the wither processes And now we get to the infinite one, which again, in the grand scheme of things, this isn't actually all that expensive. However, now we have infinite liquid storage as well which we don't have any fluid in here at the moment so but with this what we're doing now we will so let's clear out the stuff and then get some seared bricks and such Gonna need at least a seared tank and gonna need at least a seared shoot. What was the was it smeltery controller? Did I ever teach it? Oh, it's not even seeable, that's why. So how do we make... Yeah, again, it's four molten copper ingots with a seared heater. Do we have a heater in here at least? No. How do you make a seared heater again? It's just the bricks around, right? Yeah. Do that.
Y'all need to shut up down there or I'm going to actively try and kill you. Okay, so there's not enough heat, so we just obviously need to do our usual, uh... Do I have, happen to have any more lava around just easily? No. Okay, then we just use the lava charm. Which is weird. There's the amulet for that. That's it. I found it. Boom. Cool, there we go. Smeltery controller. So, with this being an uneven size, this does actually make it a tad bit different, uh, difficult. So... Is that correct for the center? Yep. No, we're gonna gonna give it the sides. So this should be now considered a thing, yep. Yes, it seems like we're making a very large smeltery. Uh, this is not actually that large from memory, I believe. This meets all the conditions of being still within acceptable range. And we're going to probably kind of need a good chunk for a while. So. There is two ways of getting blazing blood. One way is to melt blaze heads. So if I toss this in here, you'll see this start melting down. Now this way I could do an automation for, but it would be woefully inadequate. Now you could argue, ask, it's like, oh, but, um, I mean, here it is. How do you, uh... What about like anything else? No, it is just the blaze head, not blaze rods. 
However, uh, can, where can I pull a bucket of you out of? Can I just pull a bucket out of uh, the thing? Ah, uh, we need a lot more for it. Kind of, that shows how, like, inadequate it is at this stage. Alright, that's your first way of getting blazing blood. The other way is much more fun. Now, there is a couple of ways we can also handle doing what I'm about to suggest. I'm going to do it one specific way. Now, what we're going to need is a pickaxe. We'll just grab a netherite pickaxe, because fuck it, why not, right? We're fancy. We'll get one of the cool fancy pickaxe. Now, we come down here. Go here. I'm sure we've got one in here. Really? Really? Wow, I'm actually mildly impressed that we've not gotten it. I'm sure we've gotten something with it on there, though. Wow. I'm again I'm just a, a little impressed. Um Ah, we do have some. There's a lot better ways of doing what I just did, by the way. I'm just doing this because uh, most of those require some actual effort. <laughs> so, at this point in time, we've shown um, a lot of weird little interactions that exist in the game. I love Apotheosis' as handling of spawners. It's the big thing. Which should exactly give a very clear indication of what I'm about to do. So, what you can, honestly speaking, one of the best ways of ever actually handling a spawner uh, system of an entity you don't require a specific of in this, but like just that general mob is spawners and they're typically you want to augment them with apotheosis but obviously this isn't a very valid place for it so ba -boom. we now have our own personal blaze spawner you do require silk touch for this by the way it doesn't just work Just gonna toss you in there. So what our intention is, because I haven't fully explained, but I'm sure again it's been very obvious at the stage, as well as I accidentally kind of showed something about it, is that Blazing Blood has an another way of being made, which is via entity melting 
when you melt a blaze inside of a smeltery, it creates blazing blood. So what we're going to do is we're going to just get some more cobble. And close off the top of this. Now, again, industrial foreground has a lot of um, answers to this problem as well, but in saying that the effectiveness of that is not as cool, I would say. Get a little bit more cobble. So now I need to remind myself a few of the augments because we've shown off the augmentation of um, apotheosis a good few times now, I feel. However, we haven't thro uh, shown off, I feel like, some of them as well as we could have. So first of all, what we need to figure out is how we're getting the redstone signal to it. Um, so, because we'll put the spawner under here. Does adding a signal. So I think it's so it's here, I believe. No, it wasn't. Next block over. Okay, what if I put it on here? That works. Cool. Easy, simple answer. So, first things first. We will uh, just do this. Spawner modifications. Let's just pull up. here so nether star is one we'll want um i'm not too fussed about entities however we're looking for yeah that's so we need there no ai spawn range blaze rods okay And then for redstone control, it was just using a comparator on it. So, so that's disabled it. So if we take the shield off and put quartz in our other hand, I believe this 
spawn range there we go so now when these spawn they should spawn basically on top of this like inside here very very close to the uh thing Ah, that's something we'll fix. There's probably a blaze somewhere in my base. I should probably fix that. Well, problem future me? Just a second, the cat's been a bit of a pain. Oh yeah, uh, I swear that cat sometimes doesn't understand. Um, all right. Now to do some further editing. So we've added redstone control. We've reduced its spawn range. Now we want to ignore's player, so that's a nether star, and possibly a ghast here as well. So now if we do this and then we use quick a little bit of volcanic amulet to get the thing going. And there we go. Okay, so now we want some spider eyes, I guess. And wool. And I guess a chorus fruit as well, might as well. Right, so it's uh wait. Want one bit of wool. Some fermented spider eyes. And it was Brain drain. So now if we do this, how do you function?
Okay, the spawn rate's kind of atrocious, but like... I don't want to overdo it as well, because I want to make this a passive effect that is constantly going off. So we could tune it up a little, but not like what we've done in the past. So what do we need to speed it up? So minus spawn delay. Uh, is sugar. Let's reduce. Uh, we'll just reduce a little bit of them, I guess. Clock. Sugar. Like, bring this down to... 400, and then bring this down... Ah, uh, we can bring this all the way down to the bottom. And then bring this down to 200 instead. Now, that, that will be the end of the modification process. So what we can do now, this is going to be the fun and interesting thing. God, that name. Uh, <laughs> is, we don't wor need to worry about a lot of things. But what we do need to worry about... Forgot that that was uh, just one layer. Uh, so it is. Um, it's there. Yeah. Then, uh, no. What is it called? A importer. an exporter do I not have an exporter jeez uh, I'll sort that out now construction core proof processor and a cable So we need the network transmitter here. We need the network receiver. We're going to make it here. Click on that. So it is linked. If we look here, we can see that it's got linked address. I'm not going to show the address of it because there's just no point. You just know that it's a thing because you can see there. It's 52 blocks away. Now, if we go back here, it will be lit up. See? Nice. Then we get to the importer, which imports into the network. And put that there. And then if we go here... Ah, that's right. I need to edit it. So it is a liquid importer. All right. Or is this the wrong place for it?
because it's a shoot that I need for it, right? Or do I need a specific thing for it in this context? Because these are shoots, right? Drain. See a drain. I need to make sure I double check my stuff. Smeltery item and set drain. Yeah, okay. And we don't have it thinged because I'm an idiot. Two, three, four. Two, three. Uh, I just need two of that. Sorry. So that should be working. Yep, that worked. And now what we need is a bucket of blazing blood. Which, yeah, you can just pull it like that because I believe there's buckets in the uh, system. And then if I just put that in there... That should now export. Yes, there we go. And now this is an infinitely cycling system. So with this, it will keep it fueled up indefinitely with the best it can get and it will pull the rest into the system. I'm just going to actually replace this with a uh, seared brick because it just looks weird when it's next to it. This is kind of a bit more acceptable, but it's still weird. Cool. So it's a nice tiny little cute setup here and then now what we can do is continue that trend so as I said this is something I've been intending since I basically set up the smeltery as it was very obvious uh, from where you can see there's holes And now we're going to have uh, just give me a sec I will grab a new one of these and goodbye to the old one blazing blood and this one as well so whenever we want to smelt anything it's guaranteed to be there and usable though we don't smelt anything really anymore Um, I really actually like this setup and I do this setup like quite regularly. <coughs> oh, 
for a whole lot of different things. Um, but yeah, no, here you go. This is a uh, nice, simple, uh, blazing blood setup that you can do with just basically apotheosis is the only real reason why this is uh, done this way. You can do it with other mods. Again, um, I want to stress that there's plenty of other spawner based mods out there. I mean, there's the Draconic one that I've never worked with. There's Woot as well, which I do still want to play with, but I just keep never having a reason to do so. Unless... Uh, Woot Guide. Let's actually make a Woot Guide, shall we? Because I want to know what entities I can actually farm with it. Da, 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 da. TLDR, factory tiers, ingredients, capturing mobs. to program that shard with the shard in your inventory you must kill a certain number of that mob when the milk you kill uh, reaches the shard program convert into a mob controller okay what ones freaking laser beams on there Freaking heads. Okay, that doesn't say anything about what it doesn't allow. Okay, so we need that to make an anvil. So we need the obsidian and the anvil. Okay, because then we make the shard there. And we also need to make a hammer, I guess. And we also need to make a no obsidian near the quartz and thing. Okay, uh, so let's make this hammer first. Sticks. String. Let's just make the ya hammer. Which, God, yet another fucking hammer. 
Yeah, I will totally agree with that. Okay, we need an obsidian and then we needed quartz, right? So it's that into that. Anvil must be sitting on a magma block. Okay. Um... What are these? I'm pretty sure this doesn't set stuff on fire around it, right? I'm pretty sure it just sets you on fire from standing on it. Okay, and that's EMCable. That's really awesome. Okay, and then we need Ender Pearls, which again, we have probably fucking chilled zillions of. So, this is when we make the big question. I think you're all knowing where I want to go with uh, this so far. Does this work on the Ender Dragon? So we need to hit it with this. Attack mob with shard to capture. Kill mobs to fill the shard. Shard must be on your hotbar to fill. Can be cleared at any crafting table. Um, there is a thing I did see uh, from Astral, I think it was, that you can use to basically capture the dragon, but, like, that only locks it in place and you still need to let it die, which is, means you have to release it from it. There we go. We have our answer. So, if we then get a bunch more in crystals, and kill the Ender Dragon a couple more times, which again, we can kind of ignore um, the crystals now. Like the spawning process still requires them to be reset, but we can ignore it just because of the sheer amount of damage we are doing. Five Ender Dragon kills for being able to automate killing it doesn't actually sound all that expensive, I have to say.
Okay. A few more and we're done. Not bad, not bad. I kind of feel bad. Man's getting bullied. I'm assuming I can't start the spawn process until... Uh... Like, it's actually dead and, like, the portal frames changed and shit. We'll try it next time, shall we? See if we can early spawn him. Because, yeah, like, if we can make a thing that just is powered and farms this for us nice and easily, that's really good. Does anyone know if Woot is uh, set up for 118? Or no? I don't blame anyone for not knowing that. I'll have a look later. Me definitely not thinking about my next pack and if I want to add this in and such no no totally okay so let's see that's just healing it or attempting to and failing miserably No, so you do have to wait until uh, he's f they're finished dying. So I should need one more kill. I mean, I know I'm not using a beheading weapon, but I've also not gotten any heads out of uh, this so far, which is kind of, again... Outside of using a beheading weapon, this is just near impossible. And a beheading weapon doesn't deal as much damage. Cool, so this is fully programmed now. Sorry, I see loot on the ground and I'm just tempted to just go grab. Okay. So now that we've got that thing. So now we need to actually figure out uh back basics. So 
only the uh, tier that can use exotics. Okay, so we need a bunch of this stuff. Okay, so yeah, we need the top tier one and we can construct, uh, and we can spawn the ender dragon and loot it for all its goodies. Sounds really good. So again, skyrocketing through a mod, who would have fucking guessed? <sighs> okay, so. It says we need amphoranth amarantha block, then amphoranth ramp. This. So we need magenta dye pilot. So we need an injector. Oh, good lord. Okay. Let's do it via here, and anything that it struggles with will teach it. So we need a machine casing, which is. Okay, stone slab, obsidian. And beautiful, that's EMCable. Okay, so then we make this and teach that. And then we need, okay, we need the hammer back again. We need a die casing. And we also do need magenta die. I will accept that completely. So magenta, no, I want, oh, we can use both recipes, okay. Wait, what do we actually need? We need one of these, which requires the cast, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so we need magenta dye. Yeah. So, then we also need this thing now. Oh, I don't even need to go out the menu. The moment I do it, it automatically does it. That's fucking awesome. Oh, that's even better than I thought. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Also, if you use an alchemical chest, how expensive is that? Yikes. This needs power, was what I was seeing. Uh, let's just make a little home for it down here, shall we? So I just need to put that in there. 
and pure dye fluid. Oh. Okay, and then we need to just get something die. <laughs> just something die, please. And I'm guessing white gives the most white. Yeah. Do. You fucking dumb. Do I need to make all of these, by the way, via this? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Just gonna stack that in there. Well, for now, we should be done with this. So, how many did we need again? Needed 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's the first one down. Then we need 17 amber blocks. Are we ready? It's brown dye this time. One, two, two. Okay, and then a Selden block. We need 24 of. Is that the this one? Cool. Oh, this requires something else. Generated from the factory with the scale of the summit perk installed. Okay, okay. So we do need to actually progress through the mod a little bit. So 
So we'll do this one. So 11 factory connectors. What is the factory connector? There. Uh, three secondary bases. So we need the light blue. And we needed, which one was the other one that we needed? Just the normal blue. We needed three of those. And then we needed four perk slots. Need purple die plate now. Okay. Uh, how many have we? Four. Two, three, four. And then we needed a Therocus. I'm sure I got that wrong. Therocus. Uh, the cap. No cap. There. And we needed four of those. Did that not learn? Yeah, so that those are all in there now. Cool. Uh, then I needed the factory heart, I think. A loot explorer. What do we need for a loot exporter? Here we are. Okay. Each factory tier uh, builds upon the structure of the previous tier. Lower value mobs can be used in higher tier factories. You can scale the summit perk to get higher tier shards. 
Every factory requires the following a heart, a primary base, a cotton and shell, an ingredient importer, and one loot exporter. Okay, there we go. I now realize what I was missing. So we need a primary base. Which requires the pink dye palette. Seriously, I don't have pink dye in here. Okay, and then we needed that. Okay, then we need a cut in a cell. Basics cut in a cell. Okay, and then we need a ingredient importer as well. Wait, what? How much space do I need? Uh, expected cell, there should be the one and no valid primary controller. Uh, 
Oh god, this is what happens when I try and do a mod that I have no understanding of. With less than twenty health. Do we just make it like a zombie to begin with so we can get it started? Because zombies have the most diverse and variable uh, loot pool. That's semi good. I mean, I could always try and go for a Vindicator, but I think a Vindicator has got uh, a bit more HP. So many fucking Endermen. They are truly a pest. What am I doing? I can just go underground. King Julian! You cut off my fucking legs. I cannot move it, move it. <laughs> okay, so we need a mob controller now. So we need a prism glass. Yeah. <laughs> 
and then we need a pine plate. Expected sell at fifty seven thirty three fifty seven thirty three oh five. And then a controller at fifty seven thirty nine. Three nine one four. Okay, here we go. Hang on, does this work specifically for the one that you kill? So now I need to power this. Just stored in the cell at the base of the factory. This can be created by. Okay, so we need this fluid. Oh god, we need a lot more processes than I was expecting. So we need a fluid vat with this. Okay, I need to connect to this somewhere that's just got purely power. 
So why not just here? Uh, what is it called again? Pipe. Okay. Is it only enchanted books? Yep, so that's just not a viable option. Okay, I know what I need to do now. Cool. Uh, where do I want to set this up? Probably just here still. And instead have an additional level of power stuff sorted out in a bit smarter of a way I did not make the setup all that great but that's because I never intended to use it long term um I could probably wire power from over there Perfect. We'll just move it to here. So an additional three spaces. And then I need the crystal binder.
Okay. And then just the typical. And then we're gonna grab this. And then it was a, um, what was that? I think it was a distraction. <laughs> now we just need a bunch of exporters. So we need what? Oh God, this is going to be complex. We need water and what was it again for woot? So to make this, we need water and ender pearls. Now we should have this purge fluid coming in. Cool. I need a better source of water. We'll try one of those. Okay, and then I can actually add upgrades to that too. Ooh. 
Wait, no, which one's you? Uh, industrial foregoing, so. Then we add, I think a stack upgrade works in this situation. Cool, so now we're making this purge fuel quite easily. So next we need... First of all, I'm going to hide that a little bit more. Uh, to make this. So we need another fluid vat. put it here and then for that we need redstone looks like the best option so redstone and perch fuel Oh, and I also need a smack of the crystal wrench in a sec. And where is the crystal rich there? Cool, so now if we look in here, yay! We're getting this fuel that we need. Oh, that was irritating. Okay. Uh... All right. So now if we get another bit of network stuff.
Bye, buds. All right, let's take the linked card. Uh, by the way, yes, we're going to get more and more just like link orientated just because cables to that kind of extent is just really excessive and unnecessary. So now what we need is a exporter. So ingredient importer goes with that. No, wait, it's not purge for we need, we need the other one. That I actually haven't gotten a bucket for yet. Takes a lot of effort. Oh, this mod developer knows me too well. He doesn't even know who I am. Don't even know who you are. Is that working? Or do I need to pump it into the cell? Which doesn't make quite as much sense, but hey. This mod has uh, already shown me there's a lot of things that don't make sense. Okay, yeah, so you pump it right into the bottom. Sweet sensation of a... No, no, I'm not going to sing that. I listened to that recently just because of fun things and now that's stuck in my head. Right, at the moment, I'm not going to sing that because uh, one, demonetized. Well, not like I'm monetized anyway. Uh, but two, um, that's not exactly a song that you should sing in public situations. Oh, come on, let me through the king door. Okay, so what's next? Um, we need to make this thing. Scale the summit. Which needs an injection press.
because why not? Okay, and then for that we need liquid enchant, which was the thing that we wanted to avoid before. What was the... What was the bloody device for it? Oh no, it's a new device, that's why. Okay. Sure. Just some fucking random ones I have. I'm not too happy about this because like I, I I've got a weird thing about not liking uh, melting down enchanting books. I hate when mods ask you to do that. No offense, mod developers, but it's a terrible system because it requires so much fucking work to get them. All right. Uh. So then, and it's not EMCable. That's a fucking annoying thing. Okay, so. If I actually just do this quickly, by the way, I'm pretty sure I can cheat this. Because I can get... No, it's the wrong button to press. Because it puts it back in the thing there. I mean, I can make them real easy. I'm getting to a point... Like, I'm trying... What I'm trying to do today, by the way, is get to the dra he point where Dragon Head are automated so I can start like getting the experience thing going so I can start making stupid things at that hey, Oh, so that's not even the one that I really want. I kind of want to get the other ones. Okay. Well, let's just grab some uh, enchanted books to melt down then, shall we? Uh. Actually, does this work? Because then I can just not care. Does not go in. Okay. That's the answer to my question. Oh, that's right, I don't actually need the things. Uh, it should handle this level of blast protection, right? Okay, so what was it for this uh, Magus one? It's... This one. So we need two, three of those, and diamonds. We need a couple of.
Would you look at that? We've got a lot of blazing blood coming in as well. We've already got... Uh, water doesn't matter, but we've already got a bit of a supply of all of this as well. I don't know if I understand this. GD. Something. Okay. Um, I should also make sure that we're actually getting stuff out of this. Have I got this working right? Some mobs require ingredients uh, to drop their loot and these must be provided in the chest tanks beside the ingredients importer. All ingredients for all mobs will be pro uh, provided and or no loot will be produced. Seems like there's no ingredients <sighs> to what I can understand. Also, let's just put a basic chest down next to this and see if this gives us things. Because... This block is used to blah, 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 blah. chest or tank must be adjacent to any side of this block. If there is no space in the attached blocks, then the items will not be generated. Yeah, so it needs it needs the uh, chest to generate the items. Okay. Um, for his more tutorials, yeah, okay. So can I put this in to here? Only level one perks can be added to an empty upgrade slot. So do we need to make the previous variants and then make and then tear them up? Is that what I'm understanding then? 
So if that's the case, then we're also going to need to make these ones. Need to go get another enchanted book or something. And I had so many grand intentions to do uh, with this world. Like I wanted to make a dam over there and everything, but I've just really let it fall to the wayside. GD dot six e uh, equals five. If someone knows what that means, please, I'd love to know because I don't like not knowing things. It bugs me. <sighs> hmm. Come on, come on, there you go. And then it was that. Due to factory tier. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, is there... Increase the number of mobs, speed up the spawn time. Uh, generate experience, generate experience. Generate skulls. From withers. I wonder, you know I've got to test this. Because I always got to test this. It seems it does. <laughs> I 
So what does this leave me with? At a factory thing, drop chance, 10%. So I can have multiple controllers. Is that also something I can see? That's kind of cool. Just double checking this inquire plate, this area. So it should completely work. It seems to be. Hmm. Okay. I don't think there's anything significant we can do at this stage to change anything that we've done so far. I think this is kind of one of those we'll have to just leave it uh, overnight, sadly. Uh, you know, I need an importer. And plus the streams already run on for quite some time. So what we'll do is we'll finish up here. And next time we will finish up that Woot stuff as much as we can. Because I'll keep an eye, make sure that we're generating these shards and see what I can do about uh, getting the Ender Dragon sorted. So what are these ones used for? These are used for those, that one. I'm sure we're going to need all of these. But they're all generated, so we should have an okay chance. I don't know what the exotic is. The perks thing I can possibly tweak up a little bit. Oh, it's because we can obviously have room for upgrading the perks. And uh, once we get the Ender Dragon one done, we'll put that on this primary slot and see if we can make some other uh, cool uh, farms. Though I don't know what ones... What ones do we want? Of them... Uh, Sport, like of the mobs that exist in the game what do we go like ah yes we we probably should get um them farmed i mean uh is it evokers evoker might be a nice idea to make things easier Because they give the um, totem of undying, don't they? If that's the case, then yeah, we'll, we'll add them in uh, fairly soon. Uh, outside of that, is there any other mobs that generate something I want, but I can't 
naturally just mass kill. Like, I, I'm wondering if there's a way of getting it to latch onto apotheosis or not. I do not uh, think that might be the case. Just because, like, this is showing pretty strict rules. Oh, Jesus, sorry. Um, It's very cold at the moment, and I'm having a couple of uh, nasty shivers right now that are, like, the very sudden ones. Oh, that... Give them. Yeah, so we've gotten one of these now. Cool. So I will leave this running um, for a little while after I am finished today. Um, I mean, the fact this is this is all infinite, like this stuff here. This is not because we don't have an easy way of making that infinite. This. I mean, is there a thing that gives me a little of all, at least? There's this one that gives me mainly white, but a little bit of the others. Unless I want to just have, like, absolutes going at it or something like that. No, that doesn't seem like it's going to work. Yeah, there's no, like, good answer to how to do that other than manually, I think. Um, but yeah, no, we're filling up a lot more with uh, liquid now, but that's again, water is going to fill up a lot, and uh, items are just going to perpetually keep getting more absurd. So yeah, we'll leave this on, I'll just double show this uh, system in case anyone wants another look. This is going to keep indefinitely working, giving me blazing blood and everything, it will be real nice. Um, keep in mind, we can just make more absurd spawners whenever we feel like it for anything. That's again why it's a big consideration of what's something that we can't just get a spawner of, um, and muck with. Like, I think with the skeletons, maybe, because they don't seem to drop skulls from any of the spawners that I've seen. And where the skeleton skulls are used in some recipes. So that would make a lot of sense. Uh, Ender Dragon, duh. Wither Boss actually doesn't have really any unique drops. Not in this pack. Um, not ones that I care so much to get additionals of. Um... Yeah, no, I think... I think, yeah, we can probably just worry about those two for now. Uh, maybe some mod things later. If we feel so inclined. Um, but yeah, I'll leave this running um, after stream for a good little while because I've just got nothing else to do other than maybe some art later. Which um, I'll finish off with showing off what I've done because uh, we'll do another art stream either tomorrow or day after. Depends on which one I want to, when I want to do it. Might be tomorrow's, uh, I don't know, actually. I'll get back to you on that. I don't have a very strict schedule after all, so it's kind of not too harsh if I don't do it. But uh, I would prefer to not misinform. Okay, so I'll show I'll show the art real quick. Um cuz I, I again, I worked a little bit on the art that I did for um oh, sorry, I was just getting a meeting request. 
the art I did for the stream on Saturday, right? Because I didn't do the head. This is what I've done so far. Um, I've moved it all around and I've put it all into one big folder now too. So this is where the head is, body and uh, the arms and stuff. I did a little bit more work on that. I tried to work on this foot. I do not know how to do this foot. If anyone's got a good uh, reference or something like that or an idea for how to do this, maybe I would I would be hugely appreciative of that. I have no bloody idea. And then I also quickly drew up this the other day as well, uh, yesterday. Like I did a quick sketch, which by the way, just, I hate looking at this hand. Look at this hand. This hand is painful. And then the, uh, the eye on the side is just like, I could, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I need to work on it a lot more. Um, and the fucking ear on the side, which, okay. I have a question. So I want to make him a fox boy. Cause why not? Um, that's why I added little fox ears afterwards, uh, on the second layer. Um, do you have human ears with the fox ears and in that, like, or what? I don't know how to best do that and how to hide those ears afterwards after doing them because I hate reorganizing a head anatomy like that. But, like, I tried to do some of this up. I think this side's jacket needs to be tweaked a little bit. Um, like the over jacket. Because, like, this is kind of based on... Um, the other fox drawing I did in the past that I used as the baseline for the other character, which I can pull up via the other character. Give me a split second. It should be launching. Come on. All right. Is it not in here? It's not. Where is the... I mean, I have it in this illustrator. Give me a sec. My computer is dying a good bit right now. Oh, cancel. Aha. Uh -huh. I apologize for blinding someone, possibly, right now. But yeah, so um, next drawing stream will be more on this uh, novel character. Because um, I need to now do the go over of uh, things and actually clean it up properly and use it in its final stages. Which, okay, this came out really good for a first time, but there's still so much work that needs to be done. Like the hips don't fit right and stuff. And this was because someone mentioned, it's like, oh, you should do a VTuber model. And I'm like, yeah, I probably should. Here we go. This was ages ago I made this. And this was the foundation for the original ideas. And you can see, like, again, quick sketch, more or less fairly similar. Uh, Illustrator has been a piece of shit, so I apologize. Um... But yeah, like this was uh, like a big throw together for it all. I did not know how many buttons I needed. I decided to only go with um, the two this time because I think that looked better. But yeah, no, this was uh, the original sort of design for it all. And uh, I decided, like, again, this is with Illustrator. Vic, the lines are a pain in the ass to work with. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a reference that I was using. Um... Oh, 
But yeah. So that's what the original design was. And then if we just move out of that because fuck that. This is what I kind of done now because again, I, if it was a VTuber model, I don't want it to not have glasses because that fits the motif that I've been doing. I don't know if I want to do a beard on this boy though because he doesn't look like his face could handle a beard. I'm going to be honest. And his big yaoi hands uh, make me worry a little because like... This hand needs work, but, like, this one's a big yaoi hand. Like, that's about as big as your fucking face. I don't know if I should have big yaoi hands. Anyway. I think that's everything for today. Cool. Um, hope you enjoyed. I'm going to leave this playing in the background. We might try and play another game of Minecraft uh, between now and next Monday instead of, like, taking a full week to do it. Um, depends on what my schedule is. Speaking on which, okay, that's actually something I do need to talk about. Um, so, oh, I just realized, uh, this is really late, but I'm going to just go do this. Yeah, um, what was I about to say? Okay, so tomorrow stream will be normal time. Next day storm stream will be normal time, but I might be quite tired. That's why I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do after that. And then the day after that, so my Thursday, that I'm going to be doing an extremely early stream for me because I have an extremely busy day. Um, so what I've decided is I will be streaming at about 6 a.m. and we'll probably be playing maybe Final Fantasy or something along those sorts of lines for like two and a bit hours and that will be all. I might, a big might, do another stream much later in the day after about five o'clock, depending on how I'm feeling, um, just to kind of make up for the fact that the stream's are so spread out at that point um and if i do that stream that quite likely will be quite a lull calm stream maybe art um and yeah then we'll go back to normal stream on friday and from the sounds of it we should be able to do stardew valley again finally um for this coming uh saturday so that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. If you watch during the stream or if you watch later, um, huge thanks. Uh, if you could leave a like or comment, um, telling me what you want me to look at next, um, or suggestions for the next pack, because I'm still working on that right now. I'm not even kidding. I've got people now requesting, uh, me to hurry the fuck up with that. Um, which is a hard thing to do because, uh, I am engineering a pack from the ground up that is best suited for me and I have pretty much conceded that I'm going to do it in 118. Um, so if anyone's got any cool ideas for mods or suggestions for how to handle a 118 mod pack, I would also appreciate any of those. Just comment below and give me a give me a tell of uh, how to do that sort of stuff. That'll be all. Again, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again and another time uh if you want to follow along with this series subscribe and there's a playlist um or you could watch some of the other stuff like the art that i'm doing like that i just showed it's really cool but yeah until then bye bye like that i just showed it's really cool but yeah until then bye bye Ignore the fact that I had that. I, I didn't realize my desktop audio was still on. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs>